Hey guys, it's Jay, and today's video is going to be such a good one because it is going to be based all off the movie Toy Story 4. I have a ton of merchandise that I would love to share with you guys, and let's get right into it. So the movie Toy Story 4 actually came out on June 21st, which was this past Friday, and I did have a chance to already see the movie on June 22nd, which was yesterday, Saturday, and... I let me tell you it was such an amazing movie if you guys haven't had the chance to go watch that movie I highly recommend you guys watch that movie before you watch this video because I will be releasing a few spoilers um, in regards to the movie but let me tell you I cried I laughed it was the best and out of all the four movies I definitely think that this one was my favorite so the first item that I'm going to be talking about is this amazing popcorn bucket that was a complete surprise my brother-in-law did surprise me with it at the movies and I didn't even know that they had them so this was such a good surprise during the movie so of course we have a few of the iconic characters in the movie we have Buzz Woody and Bo Peep she makes her reappearance and she has a completely new look which in the beginning I was a little bit skeptical because I definitely loved her classic um, look with her hood and her dress but after watching the movie I have to say that Bo Peep is probably one of my favorite characters she killed it it was such an amazing job this popcorn bucket is so well made it is metal and in this inside you can see their outline and it's because the characters are protruding a little bit on the bucket which I thought was such a nice detail um, and in the back it says Disney Pixar Toy Story 4 and it also says the initial release date so I thought this is such an amazing mm. gift thank you so much and I'm so happy to have it as part of my collection and as part of memorabilia in honor of Toy Story 4 what an amazing time for Toy Story 4 to come out because, like I said, Bo Peep is the center of it all and she was definitely one of my favorite characters in the previous uh, first two movies. She didn't make her appearance in Toy Story 3, but they didn't have a lot of merch back in the day and a lot of her things were going for like over $100. So to see a ton of new merch, new Bo Peep merch, classic Bo Peep and her new look is so awesome and I'm so happy that I was able to grab a ton of merch Bo Peep related. The next thing I did get, um, if you guys know to, uh, Disney stores, all the Disney stores are eco-friendly so they do not give you plastic bags anymore. However, you do have the option to purchase bags if you want to. And I did, and they had this amazing Toy Story 4 bag. I purchased this about a month ago, and I'm not sure if they have it anymore, but I'm so happy that I did get it because I think that this would actually make, um, actually make an awesome art piece because if you put a mat around it and put it in a frame, it looks like a little comic book. So we have a ton of the classic characters here along with brand new characters like Ducky, Bonnie, Forky. Um, we also have Officer Giggle McDimples. And then we have classic ones like Bullseye, Toy Story, Jesse, the Aliens, um, Ham, Rex. And I just thought that this was so cute. Look at Bo Peep there. We also have Duke Kaboom and we're going to talk a little bit about him later. The next things that I got, which are also classic but I have wanted this for so long um, obviously I own a ton of Mr. Potato Heads my nephews love to play with them but they are nothing like the Toy Story ones and I'm so happy to say that I finally have the Toy Story Mr. Potato Head so the classic play school Mr. Potato Hat Mr. Potato Head has a round red nose or an oval nose and the difference is the Mr. Potato Head from Toy Story has a regular nose and his eyes are a little bit more dull. It's not as bright and wide as the classic one. Um, but this one also does give you the other, uh, the play school potato heads like the red nose and the different color eyes. But I love the fact that he looks like Mr. Potato Head and I'm so excited. So of course I had to get his partner in crime, Mrs. Potato Head. 
And I do have a few Mrs. Potato Heads, but again, they're nothing like the Toy Story ones. And these are not going to be for play. Um, I do like to store my items outside of the box. However, I will be saving the box. And I just love it. She has her flower and they're going to look so cute together. So I'm so happy about that. The next item that I want to talk about is some Imaginex things. So these things, I did purchase these at Target. And Imaginex is just basically a little car that you can play around with and it does come with a little toy. So this one is super awesome. This is the Pizza Planet um, delivery shuttle truck. This does not make it its appearance in Toy Story 4, but I still felt like I needed to have it. Um, again, this is such an iconic vehicle in Toy Story. Um, if you guys remember in Toy Story 1, they were, I believe, riding on the back of this one. And I just love it. Um, Buzz goes on the top of this. There are little feet here. And look at this. If it can work. It shoots out pizzas, which is so cool. There's little pizzas in the hood of the truck. You can put your pizzas here. You put Buzz on top and you twist him and it shoots out pizzas through the front. So that is so cool. The doors also open. So if you want to put another little friend in here, you can do that as well. RC does make his appearance in Toy Story 4 at the very beginning of the movie. And how cute is he? This is also an Imaginex um, toy. And if you do move him, his eyes move from left to right. Woody can also be removed from this vehicle. And they also do sell a few more RCs. I saw one with a remote control. And they also had one that you can just put your toys on top of um but I decided to get a small one just because I don't have a ton of room or space for all of these RCs but I definitely had to get a little one for my collection and how cute is this in case you can see my ears I have a little forky here and they are woody themed and the reason why is that this movie focuses all on um, Woody and Forky's relationship so I love the fact that I had my ears I did wear them to the movie theater and I purchased a little Forky here so this one is so cool because if you roll him his little legs move and so does so do his arms and obviously his eyes are like googly I thought this is so cute I also saw another one at Walmart and they do have the one where you can make your own forky so I think I'm gonna pick that guy up next time um, that one was three dollars and I just thought that this was so cute I had to have him in my collection obviously I did purchase a lot of these things before I saw the movie and I have to tell you I don't regret purchasing this character whatsoever the next um, item is also another tiny little forky. This one was actually from the dollar store, Dollar Tree to be exact. And I was like, what? Only a dollar? That is crazy. So um, it was nice to find this little guy there. And this one was only a dollar. And then this one was from a mystery pack, which was $3. Crazy, right? And this one's so much bigger. The next uh, character that, honestly, I don't, know why I purchased him um, I thought he would have a bigger role in the movie and it has to be Tanny so I honestly thought that like I said he'd have a bigger role in the movie that he would appear more with the other characters and he literally just had one scene he is very cute um, but again he's not a central character in the movie but he's still cute to have with the rest of my collection let's talk about I feel like the most hilarious characters apart from Forky in the movie and it has to be Ducky and Bunny. I recently bought this at Walmart and they do have them at Target and I just thought that they were so cute. They also are scented. They do smell like Lotso, um, Hug and Bear and they smell like strawberries which I thought was cute. You can remove them if you want to. They have like velcro hands but I like to keep them attached because that's how they are in the movie and the, they are voiced by Key and Peele and I just thought that they were so hilarious. Their imagination just ran wild. If you saw the movie you know exactly what I'm talking about and I love these guys so I'm definitely happy to have them as part of my collection. 
the next item that I want to talk about is actually an unboxing. So let's do a little unboxing. And I know what I ordered, but I want to see... I don't know which one is in which. So they both come in this Toy Story 4 box. I did order these off of Amazon. So let's see what's inside. <gasps> Ooh, the claw. We have the iconic three aliens. Um, they didn't make a huge appearance in Toy Story 4, but I love these guys. And the next one is a new character. Let's open this guy up, and it's Duke Kaboom and a mini Forky. And let me tell you, this character is hilarious. They do sell Duke Kaboom with his motorcycle, and I believe that one was $25. But I wanted to see the movie to see if I thought he was a good character. And this guy is hilarious. He is voiced by Keanu Reeves. And I just thought it was so good. Like, he is a Canadian doll. He's so funny. And actually, let me cut him out because I want to see if his joints move, like, in the movie. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. So cute. So he actually does have the Canadian flag in the back. And then... His joints move! This is hilarious. So if you guys do see the movie, he does all of these crazy poses. So I can actually pose him however I want. And his arms, if you see them here, they look like he can hold onto a motorcycle. So I'm pretty sure they sell a mini motorcycle. If they do, that would be pretty cool because then he can do some of his cool tricks. Actually, let's remove this helmet. <laughs> My dog is sleeping. You can hear her in the background. Yes, his helmet comes off. How cute is that? I love it. This is so cool. I right, saw this at the store, and I knew I had to have it no matter the price. So, okay. I'm so excited. And it is the classic. <laughs> Both Oh my goodness, you guys, I had to get this. Um, as you guys know, she was in Andy's sister's room. Um, the lamp looked just like this, and when I saw it, I could not believe my eyes. I could not believe that they actually made the lamp for you to purchase. She actually does come apart, and I don't want to take her off. I don't want to take her off. She does come out, um, and then she also comes with a little stand, and I just love the fact that it is like a multifunctional play toy thing where it's a lamp and you can also play with her like she's also an action figure. Her um, sheep do not come off, Billy. So yeah, as I was saying, this is such an amazing lamp. And just to give you a quick comparison, I also did get this uh, posable Bo Peep action figure of her new look so you can see side by side how the new Bo Peep looks in contrast to the uh, vintage or classic Bo Peep and let's go into her really quick so so first of all she has pants she's wearing pants and then she also has it's like a little jumpsuit which I thought was so cute and she does have this bandage because Bo Peep has gone through it all so her arm um, did get removed if you watch the movie you'll see that and then she just puts like this bandage right on top the awesome thing about this bo peep is that you can press her tummy and she talks oh, there's someone i want you to meet you gotta go with what life throws at you you don't get to be in a kid's bedroom forever isn't that so cool and i used to press her stomach and be like i don't know what she's talking about but after seeing the movie it all connects um her legs do bend she is like i said very adventurous and super awesome you can also remove her stanchion or her stand or her hook whatever this thing is called but i thought that was cool a few characters that i didn't purchase um because i wanted to wait till i saw the movie is gabby gabby which is voiced by christina hendrix and benson which i don't know who voices him but he's a little freaky um so i don't know if i'm gonna purchase benson but other than that, I'm so happy I saw the movie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and saw a lot of my little tchotchkes and merch that I purchased for Toy Story 4. If you guys enjoyed the video, please 
tell me what was your favorite part of the Toy Story 4 movie and if you're going to purchase any of these things for either your collection or for your little ones, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!